Council Bluffs is home to dozens of grand stately mansions. Inside, one of them holds a secret. Imagine a jail that was escape proof. A jail where the jailer never had to walk into a cell block. A jail where he could turn a crank and bring the prisoners to him. Tiny pie-shaped cells rotating inside a fixed cage with only one opening. Until the two lined up, there was no way in and no way out. At first hailed as revolutionary, problems plagued the design. Arms and legs could be torn off when the cells moved. Heads could be crushed. The mechanism could jam, isolating a prisoner with no access to food, water, or medical attention for days. In the event of a fire, evacuation attempts would be futile. Only 18 rotary cell jails were ever built. Most were condemned and closed soon after, but not the biggest one of them all. The Pottawatomie County Jail in Council Bluffs, Iowa, continued to house prisoners until 1969. When the jail first opened, the town didn't so much as have a paved street. By the time the last prisoner left, men had already walked on the moon. According to the Pottawatomie County Sheriff, the last resident left the old jail in 1969. Other people say that's not true. When I walked in, I just got this really weird feeling. Kind of like the EBGB feeling, like um, you shouldn't, you're in somewhere where you shouldn't be. The team of Ghostbusters methodically investigate all four levels of the jail. I keep seeing oh, orbs. Take a closer look at the lower right pane. Is it someone's face or an apparition? Some say it looks like a former jailer named Otto Gudoff. If any place is haunted around here, yeah, this jail probably is. Repeated efforts to improve or replace the squirrel cage were met again and again by the public indictment. If you break the law, it's good enough. Thank you.